So now in this video, I thought I would uh, make a demonstration video for a diode. And to do that, we have a couple LEDs right here. They both turn on when I press the switch. And uh, they may have taken a slight bit of time to turn on because my uh, power supply um, is set to limit current a little bit. But in uh, any case, we close the switch, that LED gets energized. Same time that LED gets energized, other than some current also has to charge this capacitor. So now we got them both lit when I press the switch, but when I release the switch, the LED without the capacitor turns off instantly, whereas the one with the capacitor uh, dims down. So now without the uh, diode there, they would both uh, dim down uh, twice as fast. Um, but since we have the diode, it lets current move in that way. The anode, the side without a band, needs to be more positive. And then there's a gray band that's painted on. The cathode there has to be more negative. It will let current uh, flow through that way. If we turn this around, then it would not let current go in. That LED would not light up at all. In fact, we can demonstrate that right now. So this is uh, just kind of a extra video for people that are learning about diodes right there. Let's current flow one way, but not the other. But knowing that uh, doesn't really tell you a lot of how you can use it. And so I thought I'd try to make probably a number of uh, demonstration circuits over time. So it's letting current go through um, because of the direction that we have it put in. As you can see, if I turned it the other way, it would uh, completely block it. So now, it is dropping a little bit of voltage, probably about 0.6 uh, volts with the amount of current that we're using, uh, but nominal voltage is usually 0 0.7. So might be a little bit higher at high currents. These can go up to one amp. And uh, this one, um, I believe can go up to 10 amps. This is not a rectifier diode though. This is a shot key diode. So um, if that 0.7 uh, volts is a little bit too much of a drop, you can use a shot key diode, which will drop, you know, probably in the range of like half of that. At these low currents, you'll probably do even uh, better. So not gonna go over that too much, just uh, something to uh, mention. And uh, there are smaller uh, shot key diodes. This is a, uh, a power one, higher power one, um, but uh, it's, it's a common one. So that's why I grabbed that. So in any case, I'm using 1000 ohms of resistance so that we don't have uh, much current here. We could go, uh, lower value uh, resistors, we would get more current, they would be brighter. Another thing is that, uh, so that one look, might look like it's a little more dim, I think it does, and I tried to find two that uh, are about the same brightness at the same uh, current. So I'll move this over, hopefully this one will look a little more dim, and I think it does, it's harder to tell on camera in uh, person. Um, so if they were just had the same resistor coming to them. I think they would be about the same uh, brightness, but thanks to this uh, voltage drop of about 0.7, probably 0.6 volts out of uh, five. So we got like 4.3 probably that this capacitor is charging to, and that is uh, powering that LED 